Hey everybody, welcome back to Wine Wednesdays with Richmond Tourism. We're out here at Chenault Vineyards with uh, Alex Southwell, the head winemaker, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about what they do out here at the vineyard. All right, so today we're gonna take a tour. All follow right. me, we'll go over production of the product. Sounds good. Hey Alex, what are we looking at here? All right, so this machine here is the first step of the winemaking process. This is called a crusher destemmer. It literally does exactly what the name suggests. We pour the grapes in here when we first bring them in, it crushes them. It shoots the stems out one side, and it's gonna shoot all of the juice, the skins, the seeds out of the other side. If it is a red wine made from red grapes, it is going to go into one of these bins here, and we actually have some on site right now. We ferment red grapes, with the skins, with the seeds, with all of it. The skins are where the red wine is gonna get all of its color, its tannin, its bitterness, everything that makes a good red wine a good red wine. These grapes currently are Cabernet Franc grapes we brought in from the country of Chile. They're about halfway through fermentation. Fermentation is the process of yeast converting all the sugars into alcohol. That takes about a week to two weeks to process. After that, it's technically wine. It'll go through this machine over here. This is our press. This is gonna separate all of the skins, the seeds from the wine. So out of this comes clean wine. It's cloudy, it's bitter, it's acidic, but it's technically wine. At that point, as a red wine, it is gonna go through the barrels. We're gonna throw it in a barrel for about a month. It'll sit in that first barrel through a month, go through a process called malolactic fermentation which converts all of the malic acid into lactic acid. That smooths out a lot of that harsh acidity in a red wine and gives you that smooth, full-bodied, more buttery flavors you get in a dry red. After that month, it'll be transferred into a second barrel where it'll sit anywhere from three to six months. After that, a lot of that cloudiness is gonna settle out and you're gonna be left with a clear wine. At that point, we're gonna pump it into a third barrel and it'll sit anywhere between three months and another year. And that third barrel is mainly just for the aging process, just to get more oak flavor. After that, these red wines are ready to be blended together and go into a tank. Typically, I'll blend about 10 barrels at a time of each, of each varietal. We'll blend it into a tank, and then it's ready to be bottled. All of our wines are bottled right here. This has six spouts. It fills six bottles at one time, all gravity fed. And then we hand cork everything one bottle at a time with our hand corker. So that's the process for a red wine. White wines are very, very similar. The only big difference to the process with a white wine is it's gonna go straight from the crusher to stemmer into the press. We are not gonna ferment white wines on the skins. You don't want that tannin. You don't want the bitterness in your white wine. So we are gonna press it immediately and ferment just the juice. And then after that, it'll go into the first tank for a month the second tank for two months, and then most red, white wines and sweet wines are ready to bottle after about three months. Much quicker process. Now, how many different wine varieties do you, do you make here? Currently, we're producing 17 different varieties of wine. Oh, wow. um, I think we're at a good number now. I don't know <laughs> if we're gonna go up much further, but I do have some new ones coming that we're gonna talk about. Okay. Now, I also noticed some bourbon barrels over here. Is that a special process to do it in a bourbon barrel? So it's not much different on the process. We currently have two bourbon barrel wines. We have our bourbon barrel aged red, which is a dry red Bordeaux style blend aged in the bourbon barrel for about a year. And then currently have a bourbon barrel aged peach, which is gonna be a sweet peach wine aged in the bourbon barrel for about three months. Very cool. But like I said, the process isn't really much different. You just get a different flavor profile in the end. All right, folks, well, there you have it. That's how wine is made out here at Chenault Vineyards. Um, Alex, if folks want to come out and take a tour of their own, how should they arrange that? Well, if you just give us a call at 859-328-7773, you can schedule a tour anytime that we're open and we are available. And folks, for more information, check out Chenault Vineyards website or the Richmond Tourism website at www.visitrichmondky.com and tune in next time for the next episode of Wine Wednesdays.